I want to preach this very gospel, what her Britannic Majesty Queen Elizabeth II sent to, the, to, to her creation. All of you idiots answering one Nigerian people, because you know nothing. The Queen is sending you congratulatory message. The Queen is sending you this very message because she created you. Her family created you. You are nothing. Without, Queen, without the House of Windsor, you will not be a Nigerian. Without Lugard coming, you will not know anything like Nigeria. So when I hear people stupidly and ignorantly trying to defend what they don't understand, it gives me, I, I become very, very sick. I become very, very sick. I want to understand something. I want people to please try to clarify something for me. Why Britain will be sending a message of felicitation to President Muhammadu Buhari, the same queen that wrote a condolence message. Buhari died in London. The same queen wrote a condolence message to the people of the zoo that they created. It was made possible by the family of Queen Elizabeth II. Then I wrote you a message, writing to a man who is dead. Everybody knows that Buhari doesn't exist. But because there is this conspiracy to allow the Fulani to remain there, to run everything down, to impoverish everybody, to lower the standard of living, to make life absolute hell for everybody who is unfortunate enough to inhabit that very contraption, that is the reason why they are sending a message of felicitation. She is congratulating you you guinea pigs that they created on your 60th uh, anniversary together with my best wishes for your country's continued happiness and prosperity happiness and prosperity so that britain can be taken oil and gas without paying for it i'm an anglo fellow who the british passport i say it very clearly and very openly because it is the truth pipeline on the bottom of the atlantic ocean sucking oil and gas free of charge all the way to exeter in england is anybody disputing it are you disputing it? Why do you think they want Flanny to be in charge? Because they know that if they have a Biafran in Asorok, the person will rise up and say, enough is enough. Cut this very oil and gas and pay for it. You don't understand that is why they support one Nigerian? You don't know that? You are pretending? You don't know? And any idiot who claims they are for one Nigeria is because their family is benefiting from, from the chaos, the mayhem, the corruption, the backwardness, the arrested development, poverty and deprivation. That is afflicting the very zoo, zoological republic. She said, these are bonds that I hope and believe will flourish into the future. Of course, it will flourish. As long as Nigeria remains one, Britain will continue to benefit. As long as it is one, the corruption which they planted, it was Britain that planted electoral malpractice in Nigeria. It was Britain that planted fraud, hardcore fraud, stealing. It was Britain. That was why Omar Odiko ran to Britain when he stole, wait for it, four billion pounds in mobile bank. Omar Odiko, a full and a man. These are hardened criminals. They contribute nothing to the economy. They have not done anything to move the zoo forward. All they do is to loot, to ask for power, to control AK-47, and to impoverish and terrorize all of you into submission.